What up, Tube? Today is Saturday. Memorial weekend, guys. Memorial weekend. That means it's going to be busy today. It's about 7, 10 a.m. right now. Headed to the shop. Today is, uh, well, we're going on vacation next week, so uh, I actually got tamales for sale today for my mom. So it's a tamale day on Saturday. So tamales, tamales and haircuts today. My family, we're all entrepreneurs. We're all trying to make money. So is mom. Mom makes the tamales. I sell them at the, at, at the barber shop. And trust me, guys, they're good. And people love them. Jado's catching a ride with me to the shop today. We are carpooling, so she's about to join us. So we're headed to the shop right now. It's going to be a super busy day. Uh, I think the boys are already there, so... We're gonna go catch up to them. There's a few things I wanna to discuss today, we'll get into that in a minute. Yesterday I got a question from one of my subscribers and as you guys know I am a resource for you guys so I'm here to, sh to share my experiences and share again me and my share to share my experiences and um, and my uh, and, and what I do and how I do it you know that that's what I'm here for I'm a resource for you guys so when you guys ask me questions guys I like to go up and, up and beyond the call of, uh, of duty and answer those questions and um yesterday we got a question from uh one of my subscribers his name is uh, luke kim and basically what he was saying in his uh um in his question uh or he was making a statement obviously he was saying you know that he's been watching my videos and that uh that uh he th feels i'm a good resource for for uh young students and and new barbers that are up and coming and, and which i am thank you I, I feel that I am, and that's what my that that's that's the, the what this channel is all about. But what he's asking me it was asking me what my criteria and my opinion was for when he gets out of school because he is getting out of school, and basically he was asking me what kind of shop to look for. You know, uh, uh, should he get a, a a commission shop or should he go to a shop that charges booth rental? Um, should the shop be in a big city or a small city? Should the shop have four to six barbers or 10 plus barbers? You know, do you want to be at a, at a slower shop or do you want to be at a busier shop? And he asked me for my opinion and, and, and kind of wanted to address that right now, guys. All right. So let's get into this for a minute. All right. Okay. First and foremost, guys, or Luke or anybody else is going through this because, you know, it's, these are very, very good questions, you know. When you get out of barber school, it's it's very important on where you go work. It's not about going to your first shop and and finding uh, any shop to just go ask for a job. You know, barbers. I'm gonna let you guys know right now that you guys that are coming out of school, barbers are in high demand. For you guys that are watching my videos, you guys know that I'm always shorthanded. I'm trying to find that hard working, hungry ass motherfucker. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that youngster that wants to work and wants to work all the time. That's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. Excuse me. But um, what you want to do 
as an up-and-coming barber, the first and foremost important thing, guys, as I have to let you know, is find a shop. Okay, find a shop, first of all, find a shop that has a barber mentor for you, you know? Find somebody, an owner, or that's willing to uh, uh, take you in and, and, you know, allow you to learn from him. And, and that's something that I do. When I am bringing a youngster, especially if he's my apprentice, you know, if he's my apprentice, of course he's going to learn from me because he's going to be required to learn from me. And he's going to be taking a lot of directions and a lot of, uh, 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 I'm very demanding. So this is what has to happen, you know, and, and but at the same time, you find somebody who will teach you not only how to cut hair, but how to run your, how he runs his business. Somebody who's there, the hard working, somebody who's there the first all the time and somebody who you can learn from because there's so much to learn other than just cutting hair. Cutting hair is, 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 is a small part of this whole industry. You know what I mean? There's so many other services. There's so many other things that you could do with this business. Uh, when you become a barbershop owner, there's so much that you have to learn, you know, how to manage your books, how to, you know, take care of customers, how to be here all the time. You got to, you know, you got to grow a strong worth ethic. If you don't have a strong worth ethic, how do you expect to succeed? You know, so that's the first and foremost important thing, guys. Look for somebody. And, and, and by saying look for somebody, don't just go look for a job. I'm like, you know, it's. It's, I've already been asked this. I, 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 me, I love when young barbers come to me and tell me, like, I'm looking for a mentor. I'm looking for somebody, you know, to teach me the right way to do things. And that's what you want. That's what a lot of barbershop owners want to hear. And I hear that. It makes me think, like, all right, this guy's hungry. This guy wants it. This guy is going to he's gonna do what it takes to, to what's, what's required to be successful. Because being successful, guys, is not easy and it's not free. You know, it takes time. It takes hard work. So you gotta be willing to put that out there. Okay, to me, I feel that's the strongest thing, guys. For any young barber, attach yourself to a good barber shop. Attach yourself to a good owner, strong working owner that has good rules and you're gonna learn everything the right way. Remember that, guys. That's the very, very first thing that you should be looking for. You know, if you work at a shop that cuts great hair and has good attitudes and, and has a strong worth ethic with all its employees guess what you're gonna you're gonna become one of them guys and uh and if everybody cuts hair good at a shop guess what you're gonna cut hair good at because you're gonna have to keep up with those if you go to a shop that doesn't cut hair very good guess what you're not gonna cut hair very good you might be the best barber you might be the best barber at a shitty shop is that what you want to do not me i want to you know go to a good shop and get better you know and, and that's what you should got to aim for the number two question was should should he accept should we accept uh uh should i look for a shop that has um commission commission or should i get a shop that that does a, a booth rental my opinion guys you're coming out of school you really don't have clientele unless you already have a strong clientele you don't want to go to a booth rental shop because a booth rental shop, you're required to bring your own customers in. You're not going to be getting a lot of foot traffic there. You know, a booth rentals is very, um, it's good for a barber that has clientele and has a full book if you're doing appointments. You know, if you're doing that kind of stuff and then, then you know what, uh, uh, a shop where they charge commission might be your best, uh, uh, my, that charges booth rental might be the best bet. But if you're just starting out, you want to go to a shop that's busy, that has a lot of foot traffic, that has a storefront, you know, that, that has other barbers working there that does walk-ins. Now, my shop, we do walk-ins only. You know, and only Saturday and Friday, we do appointments early in the morning. But other than that, it's all walk-ins. So you want to go to a shop that does walk-ins. Walk-ins are very important. Walk-in is, if for those young barbers that don't understand what a walk-in is, a walk-in is a customer that walks in and wants a haircut. Doesn't have an appointment and doesn't make prior uh, arrangements to come in and get a haircut. It's just basically he walks in and, and who, you know, a lot of time a walk-in could be anybody. He'll go with anybody, you know. He'll go with whoever's ready, whoever the next barber is. So uh, walk-ins are very important when you're looking for a place to to start your barber career because you want to go to a shop that has a lot of them i say when you're looking for a shop you should look for a good respectable shop a shop that has good reviews go on yelp check out their yelp reviews see what people think about them see what the people say about them um go on 
uh, Google, check out the reviews there, you know, and, and you can see what people are saying, what their people are thinking about that shop. You want to go to a popular shop, you want to go to a shop where, um, of course, you know, the more popular shops are probably a little bit harder to get a job at and get, uh, uh, get in there, but, you know, if you show some initiative, a lot of times, owners are always looking for people, always, you know, and we're looking for hardworking people, not for people that, that want to come in whenever they want, people that want to work all the time. That's the most important part, you know, and that's the hardest part is finding, finding a, a, a consistent, consistent work. You know, nobody consistently wants to work. <laughs> that's that's a problem I'm having. Um, but guys, stay on top of that. You know, that, these are good questions and these are things that you know when you come out of barber school and they matter. You know, when I first got out of barber school, I went to work with my uncle, and you know, it might have not been the busiest shop and it might have not been the greatest work learning experience but you know what i learned a lot there i learned a lot what to and what not to do and you could pick up bad and good things from every single shop you work at and most people are going to work four or five shops six shops before they even become an owner if if you become an owner so um keep that in mind it is important location is important the attitudes inside the shop are important and the boss that hires you the person that's going to be your barber mentor that especially matters Keep that in mind, guys. Grind on, never give up. And uh, if you're struggling in this in this business, and, and um, you know, keep your head up. And and remember, guys, that things get better. It, they don't always start off fine and dandy. They don't always start off, you know, you making a lot of money. Uh, in this business, you only get what you put in. You know, you only get out what you put into it. If you don't put in a lot, you're not gonna get a lot. So you got to, you got to work hard. That's my main thing. Uh, if you guys don't hear that in my voice when I talk about that is, you know, we gotta grind hard. Gotta grind hard and grind long all the time. I'm gonna go back to the shop, finish up my day. Right now it's about uh, 12.30, so we're about five hours in already. Uh, it's been extremely busy. Uh, so tomorrow is Sunday and uh, tomorrow's swap meet, so holiday weekend guys if you guys ain't working right now i don't know what to tell you